Hello, and this is another quick run through of a particular feature and how to use it of part of the ArcSight ESM real time correlation platform. In this particular case, we're going to be looking at the ArcSight Management Center and with the version 2.5, which is this particular version we're using now. We're actually going to look at how you do a parser update and what that means. So uh, I'm actually going to jump into my nodes for a second, and I'm going to look at one of my particular uh, sets of devices here, which is it's actually running on this particular management center, hence the reason why it's shown as localhost. Uh, and we can actually just go into that, and we see there's a number of connectors, what well, containers, and therefore connectors running underneath that. We can see that there's different versions and so on. Uh, and you'll notice one of them is is not actually set to be updatable, but that's okay. What we can see is that there are two other versions here. Now, what does this mean? Um, what it means is we've made a separation between the framework, the version of the underlying software that carries out the operations, the uh, physical processing of the log data, for example, uh, from the particular source, and the actual parsing, so taking that data and parsing it. So it, as a quick example here, 7.3.0 indicates the framework release, and there is actually a later version that's available to that, which is the parser up updates. So it actually, when you connect, uh, in this particular case, the management center and what it will do is it will poll against if it's if it's internet connected it will poll against the marketplace so that's uh, the marketplace.saas.hpe.com so you'll need to allow that through your firewalls but it'll poll against that to see what the latest versions of the parsers and the framework is so in this case the latest framework is fine but the parsers are out of date so what do we do well actually we highlight the ones we're interested in so in this case, I'm just going to do the top uh, container here. Uh, we click the upgrade button. So as it does, it, it, it then goes and looks at what we have available. Now, if you read the instructions here, it's very important here. If it is internet connected, it will actually connect up to the marketplace, like I said, uh, and actually check what the latest uh, upgrade version available is. And it will detail instructions here. So we can actually see that it's 731 with a parser update. So that that's what's there. It is a parser upgrade. The parser upgrade is tiny. Uh, it's not going to do anything with the underlying software. It's just the parser component. It sees what's available. It sees that like, I, I can actually carry that uh, update. If I didn't have this internet connected, I'd have to go back to using what they call the AUP or ArcSight update package files, which would actually deposit as part of the repositories. Uh, I'll deal with that as a separate um, uh, video just to explain that. But in this case, we can see what we do need to do is we do need to have a user for this. So I recommend going on to marketplace.saas.hp.com and setting yourself up with a user for doing that. But I actually have one, so I'm actually going to define that now. So it's actually my uh, email address, which is OK, and my password. And then if we don't have one, we can actually just sign up there. That's OK. Uh, save that. It's then going to check it. Uh, it's then going to say that that's my marketplace account. It's going to save that. It, it is going to save the uh, username and password hashed. So don't worry about that from being a, a, a compromised point of view. And of course, you can update it. However, do note, now I've set that, it's going to do that check every single time with regards to the polling to check to see if there's a latest version available. So if you don't want that to happen, then don't allow the uh, ArcSight Management Center to communicate to the outside world. So we hit the upgrade button. It then does the processing, pulls down the latest uh, parser uh, elements, which is typically, it's, it's tiny, it's 50k or so. Uh, we can see there's only a limited amount of uh, updates to the actual parsers there. It then pushes that down to the connector and refreshes those parsers on the connector. Hey presto, the update is done. I hit done. I go back to my containers. Uh, we can see what's going on. Let's go back and look at this actual container here. So occasionally we'll get this when it's doing an update, so it's it must be restarting. In fact, it actually say, it says that there. Uh, it says it hasn't actually, in this case, fully restarted its process. So we'll just give it a second uh, for that to occur. But the update process is actually very simple and straightforward.
So there we go. I just clicked through and waited a second or so. And hey, presto, there we go. There's the parser update to indicate that it's actually pushed that down. Uh, it has restarted it as part of the actual operating process. Again, just note as part of that, the, the process that it does is it will keep the, uh, the backup version. So there is a mechanism so you can actually roll back should there be a problem as part of that. And of course, you do have the ability to, to go backwards. Uh, and then what we can do is we can actually even uh, send a container command and so on if we need to as part of that. But there you go. That's a very quick uh, overview of how we, uh, in this particular case, do polling for parser updates, uh, how we integrate that with the marketplace, how we can then just quickly uh, update a particular container, in this case, one connector, uh, and actually have that operational in a very, very short period of time. And that's it. Thank you very much.